Do you want to know how to skyrocket your SaaS lead generation? Well, then you are in the right place. Because in today's video, we are diving into the top 10 strategies that can literally double or even quadruple your revenue. So if you are ready to take your SaaS business to the next level, stick around because this is going to be a game changer for you. All right, let's dive right into our first strategy for generating leads in the SaaS world. Have you ever thought about the power of software marketplaces? I'm talking about the places like G2, Captera, and GetApp. These platforms are like the Amazon of software solutions, where people come to discover, compare, and even make purchases. Excuse me, excuse me, does it make sense? I don't understand how these things can help me make more money. Would you mind to explain that, please? Well, let me tell you. These platforms not only help you to get discovered, but they also boost your credibility with badges and customer reviews. So how can you make the most out of these marketplaces? Do your homework. Understand who hangs out there and if it aligns with your goals. Next, make your listing pop. Show off your software features and benefits and don't forget a clear call to action. Then get those reviews rolling in. They are like a social proof that your software is the real deal. And finally, don't shy away from sponsor listings or targeted ads. Remember, these marketplaces are like a treasure full of potential customers who are actively looking for software solutions. All right, let's move on to our second strategy, which is search engine optimization. SEO, it's one of the key to attracting organic traffic that's actually interested in what you are offering. Did you know that 59% of B2B marketers believe SEO has the biggest impact on their lead generation goals? That's because SEO is like a snowball rolling down a hill. It starts small, but over time, it grows and grows, bringing in more and more leads and customers for your business. So how do you make SEO work for you? Well, first of all, you should watch all my videos because I am very detailed how to make it work. All right, let's jump into the strategy number three. Now, have you ever considered online advertising? Online advertising is one of the quickest ways to start generating leads for your business. So what are some of the ways you can use online advertising to generate leads and grow your SaaS business? Well, let's start with pay-per-click or PPC advertising. Platforms like Google Ads and Bing Ads allow you to create targeted ads based on specific keywords. Imagine it like putting a signpost in the digital world that guides users searching for SaaS solutions straight to you. Not bad, huh? Next, we have a display advertising. This is all about using banner ads and rich media ads on relevant websites to build brand awareness and drive traffic to your website. Then there is retargeting, one of my favorite. This is like a gentle nudge to users who visited your website but didn't convert or take an action you would like them to take. It's like saying, hey, do you remember us? You're still here and we got what you need. Come over. And finally, we have social media advertising on the place where most people spend most of the time. Platforms like LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter allow you to create Tyler ads that reach your target audience. Okay, let's move on and let's dive into strategy number four, which are two sides of the same coin, content marketing and blogging. Now, content marketing is like the Swiss army knife of lead generation. It's versatile, very useful, and can really pack a punch. In fact, did you know that content marketing generates three times as many leads as outbound marketing at less than half the cost? And then we have a blogging, which is a key component of content marketing. Just take a look at the HubSpot. Their B2B blog strategy generates over 10,000 leads every month. I mean, not bad, right? So how do you make the most of content marketing and blogging? Well, it's all about understanding your audience, understanding the keywords you want to target, creating diverse content, and leveraging AI-powered tools to speed up and improve the process. And before we move on, are you finding these strategies helpful and useful? If so, consider joining my membership. I am doing this on the side, and my goal is to make at least $1,000 to hire some help with editing. I mean, I don't have any special perks yet there, but I promise I'll be working on it as soon as I find the time. Your support means the world to me and it helps me to keep bringing you these valuable insights. So hit the join button and let's continue this journey together. Or otherwise you can use the super thanks 
or you can give me super like, super comment, and super subscribe. Either way, I appreciate your help. All right, let's dive into the fifth strategy that is two in one strategy, kind of, which go hand in hand, which is email marketing and lead nurturing. Now, email marketing is like the old reliable of lead generation. It's been around for a while, but it's still highly effective. And then we have lead nurturing, which is all about building and maintaining relationship with potential customers at every stage of the marketing and sales funnel. In fact, lead nurturing can help companies generate 50% more sales ready leads at 33% lower cost. So how do we make most of email marketing and lead nurturing? Well, it comes down to understanding your audience, offering value and leveraging again AI powered tools to make it at scale because there's many different types of customers, you can have many different segments and you need to be personalized at scale. For email marketing, think about offering lead magnets like ebooks or exclusive content to entice users to subscribe. Then use AI tools to segment your audience, personalize your emails and optimize send times. And don't forget to test and monitor your performance to continually improve your strategy. When it comes to lead nurturing, it's all about targeted messaging and content. You want to create sequences based on your product or service and your customer segments. And remember, the more personalized your message is, the more effective your lead nurturing will be. All right, let's move on to strategy number six, a referral marketing. Now, this is like having your own personal cheerleading team. It's all about getting your existing customers, influencers, bloggers, and affiliates to spread the word about your business. Actually, did you know, just between you and me, that referral marketing generates three to five times higher conversion rates than any other channel? And more than 50% of people are likely to give a referral if offered an incentive or recognition. That's a lot of potential leads just waiting to be tapped into if you, if you decided to do All right, let's move to the next strategy, which is social media marketing. And now this is like the town square of the digital world. It's where your potential customers hang out, chat, share, and connect. I mean, you spend there some time as well, right? And did you know that social media users increase by over 10% and internet users are expected to spend more than a third of their internet time on social media? Well, not much of the working, right? Well, that's a lot of potential leads just waiting to be engaged with. All right, let's speed it up and move to the next strategy, which is YouTube marketing. Hello, maybe I'm just doing it right now. Who knows? Maybe I do this one only for marketing or maybe I do it because I enjoy it. You never know. But hey, now let's be serious. Now it's like having your own TV channel where you can showcase your software capabilities and of course benefits. And did you know that YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world? It's like having a giant billboard that's visible to millions, no, 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 billions of potential customers, maybe millions, yeah. Plus, most of your content can be easily repurposed into video format, making it a highly efficient marketing tool. I mean, you just wrote a blog post. Why don't you want to make it a video? I mean, this right video, it's my actual blog post, right this one. Not bad, eh? So, how do you make the most YouTube marketing. Well, let me be a bit personal with you. I spent some time creating videos and I kind of got it. So first of all, make valuable content. Second, optimize it for search. I mean, don't expect that people just discover you out of nowhere. Search is your best option, especially at the beginning. Second, design engaging thumbnails, including clear CTAs. I mean, you need to get people click on it. And then, you want to analyze and optimize your performance. One of your goals is to make sure that people watch the time as long as possible. The retention is all right, but if people watch it as long as possible, that's your key. And there you have it. This is Crash Course 101 for YouTube marketing. Oh my now. All right, let's dive into the next strategy. Shall we? The number nine, which is conversion rate optimization or as we like to call it, 
CRO. Now, this is like the kind of secret sauce. I mean, this is actually secret sauce. Not many using it, but it's one of the best ways how you can double or even quadruple your revenue from your current efforts. CRO is all about improving the percentage of website visitors who take desired actions, like signing up for a trial or subscribing to a newsletter. It's like turning your website into a well-oiled machine that efficiently converts visitors into leads and customers. And as I said, did you know that 68% of small businesses haven't yet adopted CRO strategies? I mean, that's a lot of missed opportunities right there. So don't be one of them. Okay, let's move on to the next and final strategy. Number 10, building case studies and testimonials. Now, this is like having a portfolio of success stories that showcase the real world impact of your software. Did you know that 72% of consumers say positive testimonials and reviews increase their trust in a business? And 97% of B2B customers cite testimonials and peer recommendations as the most reliable type of content. I mean, that's a lot of trust building power right there. So how can you make the most of case studies and testimonials? Well, it's all about choosing diverse examples, telling a story, including quantitative results, showcasing testimonials, and of course, promoting success stories. Case studies and testimonials can be a real game changer. It can increase your revenue and conversion rate significantly. So make sure you have a diverse portfolio of clients and case studies showcasing the real value of your software. All right, and that's all from me. We have covered a lot of ground today, from referral marketing to building case studies. These strategies are your key to unlocking massive growth in your SaaS business. Remember, the journey to success is a marathon, not a sprint. So take some of these strategies, apply them to your business and watch your business grow. The goal is to select those that can make a real difference, perfect them and then move on. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with your fellow marketers. And remember, your support through memberships helps me to keep bringing you this valuable content or you can give a super thanks. Either way, I appreciate your help. Thanks for watching and here's to your success. Edward Ziak, ciao ciao.